going bullhead fishing this morning. You know, normally the rule up here in New York is that sometime in May or even early June, the bullhead spawn. But there's an exception to the rule where they push shallow, and that's when the water's murky. They'll push into the shallow bays um, by the thousands, it seems like. But what can make the water murky? Um, for a small area, a boat motor could, churning up the, uh, the aquatic plants and stuff. But more realistically, if you have a lake river system, a bunch of rain will make the water murky because the river's flowing into the lake and it's flooded. Um, also, wind pushing into the bay can churn it up a little bit. And it was raining all last night, so I'm expecting the bays to be really murky and the bullheads to hopefully be in there. We'll see what happens. All I'm doing today is baiting up a small bait holder hook with a little bit of worm and a three-way slip sinker rig, which I have video on how I make already. And then giving it a twirl so the lines stay apart and casting it way the heck out there. And then letting it sit. There we go. I'm guessing this is a bullhead out here bullhead fishing, which is the first fish of the year off, off this lake that I've caught. Very cool. You got a muddy inward chop, that's what I'm looking for. Yeehaw, feels like a good fish. Yeah, girl, it's a nice solid bullhead. Look at that. There we go, baby. First one of the year for me. Yeah, girl. There's a nice bullhead. Water's up today. Perfect. Bullhead love cloudy water. Fishing some night crawlers on three-way slip sinker rigs. Getting hits immediately. They are stacked real good in here, I bet. This is going to be a good day, I think. Might be calling that prematurely, but <laughs> really seems like it. That seems like a decent bullhead. He's pulling hard. Could be a walleye. Could be a walleye. My friend Corey's with me. Could be a walleye, could be a sucker. I'm guessing bullhead though. Hoping bullhead. Woo! Yeah, it's a nice bullhead. Real nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, girl. Oh yeah, look at this slob. Yeah, that, that's a fat 16-incher, baby. Corey's still tying up. I got another bullhead on, baby. Yeah, girl. Come on, big old 20-incher, or 15-inch perch. I'm in a trophy mood. They, like, squirm all over the place like this. Baby. Oh, it's a huge perch. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that is a massive perch. Wow. Look at that. Look at that perch. It's huge. Holy cow. Oh, at least 14. I don't know. I have to get a measurement on him quick. But he's between 14 and 15. Yeah, I crossed my other line. That's okay. I'll untangle it in a moment. That last perch was 14 and a quarter. Wonderful perch. Biggest one I've gotten this year. Another bullhead, baby. Oh, no, you didn't cross your line. You are literally getting another bite. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Do you want me to get it? No, I got it. Double header, baby. Both rods went off at once. This is what I'm talking about. When it gets murky, the panfish move in. This is awesome. Exactly what I've been waiting for this spring. This isn't the first time I've been here. Got skunked several times waiting for the panfish to come in. 
but man, is it worth it when it does when it does connect. I think this one just has an Aberdeen on three-way slip sink rig, so I gotta take it easy. Bullhead, baby. Bullhead City, baby. That's a nice one. Try not to get spiked here. Beauty. Another 16 inch or skinnier though. Another squiggly one. You gotta take it easy with this rod or maybe switch it over to a bait holder hook so I can really torque on it. I just have a thin Aberdeen hook number four right now. Which could bend if I really Put too much ass into it. Whoa. Another bolt head. Fourteen fifth train, probably fourteen and a half. Right around there, 15 maybe. Cool. This guy is staying down and heavy. Come on, 17 inch perch. Come on, baby. What? What'd you say, dude? I said I mentioned it and you're probably going to stick for the rest of the day. I always do, man. It haunts me always. Bullhead. Nice one. That's a good one. Cool. Another beauty. 16 or so. There's another one, baby. Yep. Racking, stacking them. Gonna fill the bucket. I've got my trusty seven gallon bucket. I'm gonna fill it with bullheads, hopefully. Ooh, this, guy's, this guy's pulling pretty good, he's tugging. You never know what you're gonna get. Mostly bullheads, probably, but suckers, walleye perch, other stuff, all very possible. This guy's really staying down. Bullhead. Coming in for landing, Corey. Really yep. There we go. Nice. Croak, 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 croak. Mm. There's another decent one. He's talking pretty darn good. Feels like it. If it's a perch, it's a three pounder. <laughs> Baby, she's a squiggler. Uh, shoot, come on, you dingus. There we go. Nope, come on. I got him. That's a nice one. Dang. Beauty. All tangled up there, but there's a beautiful brown bullhead. I got a rod bender on. Could be a channel cat. He was taking drag for a little bit there. A really strong bullhead. I don't know, man. That's just a small one, dude. If this is a catfish, it's a small one. If it's a bullhead, it's a big one, I bet. It 
is a really big hole head. Nice. Coming in for land, Corey. Get out of your way. Yeah, that's a quality bullet. Look at that. You're taking drag for a hot four seconds there. Nice. There's a quality chunky bullhead. 16 and a half maybe, somewhere around there. Yeehaw! Another nice bullhead probably. I want to get into some more jumbo perch, man. That was sick. 14 and a quarter inch perch with a really tall back. Beautiful. Been a while since I caught a perch that bigger, bigger. Last year's perch spawn sucked. Little bullhead coming in hot. Nice. Need a heavier rod for this stuff. Little medium powered Fenwick is buckling over, baby. Come on, come on over, you squirrely fish. Yeah. Nice quality bullhead. That's what I'm talking about. Here's a good one. Hold him up here. There he is. Beauty. Run and gun, baby. Yeah, girl. It's a solid one for sure. And they just squirrel around everywhere, every which way. Yeehaw. Coming in hot. Another nice bullet. It's a good one. Wow. That is a nice one. Real thick. Look at that fat bullet. Solid. 16 and a half maybe. Right around there. came towards me there for a while. <laughs> Reel down, pump up. Stay out of that junk, you jerk. Another cookie cutter nice one. Fat. Fat jumbo bullhead. This one's fighting really awkwardly. Still a fish, I feel it, wiggling. Just weird. I might I might have crossed it. It's a bullet. He's just fighting strange. That's a nice colored bullhead right there. It's a pretty one. A lot of yellow in it. Beautiful. Another one, baby. He's a squirrely one. They all really are. Reel down and pump up. Pump sideways, get him out of his junk. I really should get rid of that junk between next bite. Smaller guy. Still a good eater though. Here we go. Little guy, 14 inches maybe. I really wish I had two ugly sticks with. 10 pound braid or more. Whoa, Nelly, where are you going? He's going way that way, dude. Towards you. 
shoot. It's taking me over there. What is it? Not surprised he's acting. Ooh, big one. Or a carp. Had red fins. Yeah. Let me buy here. Hold on here. Might be able to. Maybe. Yeah, you got a carp. Oh yeah, little baby cars. Oh, is that is that whiskers? Yeah, just a little. Jeepers, creepers! Holy shoot! Yeah, that is a baby cart. You're right. No. <sighs> cart made such a huge mess of everything I am soaked now which sucks <laughs> no it was more than three dude small though small cart this guy's talking pretty good too I'm on it's a bullhead solid one There he is. Solid bullhead. Awesome. Thank you. One other thing is the water's rising here too. That's often indicative of a solid bite. <laughs> My pole just randomly fell over. Another squirrely rodeo bullhead. Cool. There we go, baby. Racking and stacking them. What do we got here? Another bullhead? Quality bullheads. Have you, uh, have, they say catfish in you. Have you seen a catfish in you? Yeah, I caught one. Have you? Yep. Yeah, fortunately there's no cold fronts moving in. I remember once I was racking and stacking them and it just started snowing suddenly. And around noon and it was like 50 before that so they just shut off yeah how many bullets are out there Corey what do you think thousand Probably. <laughs> yep little guy uh, 13 12 13 water's rising see my rod holders underwater been rising all morning what do we got here? Another nice looking bullhead. I like the ones that are like more yellowish. They're pretty. Still brown bullheads, but they're pretty. Ah, shoot. There we go. Don't want to get st stung. It's probably the smallest one of the day, 12, 13 inches. This guy was a squiggler. Not squiggling so much now though. At first he was like bop 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 bop. Oh, man, I'm getting tired of this. This is a workout, man. My feet hurt. I sat on my bullhead 
bucket and one of their spines poked my butt. It was very unpleasant. There we are, squiggling again. Squirrely bluegill, or uh, bluegill, yeah, right, bullhead. <laughs> Derp. Nice one. What's that? Yeah. Go get your bullhead, Lake No Tell him. Ooh, nice one. <laughs> Getting close. Both my rods are going off at the same time. Jeepers, cats meow, 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 meow. Wow. There's a bullhead. That a girl. Beauty. Casting way out into that bay over there, and there's bullheads there too. They're just moving in shallow because it's murky water. Too early for the spawn, I think. It's just a, a conditional migration, I would say. Yeah. Another nice quality bullhead. At least, dude. The record was 22 inches for brown bullhead, and it was like... No, that's black bullhead was 26, but they're both like seven and a half pounds or so. Yeah, this is a strong fish, whatever it is. Okay. Big walleye, that'd be cool. Have to let them go, but it would still be really cool to catch them. I don't know what the hell this is, man. This is strong fish. There is a sturgeon in here, it could be. He's taking drag, man. Could be a catfish. I think it's a carp. I got another carp, look at that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Still pretty, pretty small. Carp, 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 carp. Yeah, he's just a little guy. Stop that, please. There's your carp. Those carps are just small carps. Normally in the rivers around here, I average 18 to 20 pounds per carp. It's a big bullhead. Look at that, that's a beauty. That's a really nice bullhead right there. Look at that, 16, 17, something like that. Beautiful. See that inward coming ch chop into the bay here is a good thing. That warm water is rolling off the top and into the basin here. And on top of that, it's making it murkier. So it's a good thing for two reasons. For bullhead, especially. Little guy, little squirt. Don't get stung. There we go. Awesome. Ooh. You guys tugging pretty good. Taking a little drag. I like that. Got some spunk to you. I like that in my fish. Come on, baby. This is a good one. He's taking drag, dude. inch bullhead wouldn't that be the day tons of 15 16s but never seen a 20 myself fat old horn pout it's a nice one 
It's a really nice one. 16 at least, maybe 16 and a half or so. Man, I'm getting really tired from hauling all these fish in. If uh, my buddy Josh doesn't come soon with more, more worms, I'm probably going to call it. Hello. Yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 girl. Another horn pout. Solid one. It's getting windy out, but the important part is the chop is coming in into the bay. Pushing that warm water and that murky water right into me. The bullheads follow. Look at me, I got bullhead hand. They bite down your fingers so hard when you're trying to get the hook out. You lose your skin. It's bigger than I thought. There he is. Fat little guy. 13, 14. There's another one. Getting windy out. You know, shout out to my good buddy Kane, who can't catch a 15 inch bullhead to save his life. <laughs> I know you're watching, Kane. New York's better than Wisconsin in some ways. Both are pretty great, but. Kane! Nice boy. There we go. All right. Cool. It's a beautiful boy. Almost lost my rod. Almost flew into the water. The friggin' thing that was holding it uprooted, and the rod was like bent over. I think it's a carp. It's got to be a carp. Yep. How big? Not that big. Ah, uh, so just a little guy. Little carp. Maybe a, maybe a tad bigger. Little carp. Little carp. Doot 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 doot. Little carp. Spunky springtime carp. No, you're coming in with me, buddy. I don't think so. Ugh. Well, there he is. I got mud in my eye now. Ugh, there he is, a little carp. I got my three delicious carp. In case you've never seen seven gallons of panfish, here they are, baby. Time to clean them. Yeah, girl.